टुडे वी विल डिस्कस फंडामेंटल थ्योरम ऑन होमोमोर्फिज्म ऑफ रिंग सो द स्टेटमेंट इज एवरी होमोमोर्फिक इमेज ऑफ अ रिंग आर इज आइजोमोर्फिक टू सम रेसिड्यू क्लास रिंग क्वेश्चन रिंग और इफ फाइव इज अ होमोमोर्फिज्म ऑफ अ रिंग आर इनटू आर डैश विथ करनाल एस देन आर बाय एस इज इक्वल टू आर डैश सो द प्रूफ इज लेट आर डैश बी होमोमोर्फिक इमेज of a ring r and f be the corresponding homomorphic then f is a homomorphic of r on to r dash let s be the kernel of this homo homogeneous then s be the kernel of this homogeneous then s is an idle of r therefore r by s is a ring of residue classes of r related to s first we have to prove that r by s is equal to r dash if a belongs to r then s plus a belongs to r by s and f a belongs to r dash consider a mapping phi such that r by s on to r dash such that phi s plus a is equal to f a for all a belongs to r first we shall prove that the mapping is well defined so if a comma b belongs to r and s plus a is equal to s plus b then phi s plus a is equal to phi s plus b so we have s plus a is equal to s plus b which implies that a minus b belongs to s so f a minus b is equal to o dash uh since zero element of r dash f a plus uh, minus b is equal to zero dash so f a plus f minus b is equal to zero dash so f a minus f b is equal to zero dash f a is equal to f b then phi s plus a is equal to phi s plus b mapping is well defined the second uh, sorry now we have to prove that phi is one one so phi s plus a is equal to phi s plus b which implies that f a is equal to f b so which is implies f a minus f b is equal to zero dash so f a plus minus b is equal to zero dash so f a minus b is equal to zero dash which implies that a minus b belongs to s so, uh, here s is a kernel of f so s plus a is equal to s plus b uh, therefore phi is one one now we have to prove that phi is on to r dash then let y be the any element of r dash then y is equal to f a for some a belongs to r since f is on to r dash now s plus a belongs to r by s and we have phi s plus a is equal to f a is equal to y which implies that phi is on to r dash finally phi s plus a plus s plus b is equal to phi s plus a plus b so which is equal to f a plus b which is equal to f a plus f b then we can write phi s plus b plus phi s plus b so if i s plus a plus phi s plus b then also phi s plus a and s plus b is equal to s phi s plus a b which is equal to f a b then this implies that f a dot f b which is uh, which implies that phi s plus a dot phi s plus b uh, therefore phi is homomorphism of r by s on to r dash so here r by s is equal to r dash hence proved now there is another theorem a finite commutative ring without zero divisors is a field or the statement can be every finite integral domain is a field iska proof dekhte hain let d be a finite commutative ring without zero divisor having n elements a1 a2 and so on an in order to prove that d is a field we must produce an element one belongs to d such that one a is equal to a for all a belongs to d there exists an element b belongs to d such that b a is equal to 1 let a is not equal to 0 which belongs to d consider the n products a a1 comma a a2 comma so on a an all these are elements of d also they are all distinct for suppose that a a i is equal to a a j for i is not equal to j 
then a a i minus a j bracket is equal to zero, which uh, which is equation number one. Since d is without zero divisor and a is not equal to zero, therefore one implies a one sorry a i minus a j is equal to zero, which implies that a i is equal to a j. Contradicting i is not equal to j. हमने यहाँ suppose किया था कि i is not equal to j तो यहाँ पे ये contradict कर गया कि i is equal to i j so it is contradicting i is not equal to i j. Therefore a a one comma a a two and so on a a n are all the n distinct element of d placed in some order. So one of these element will be equal to a. Thus, there exists an element say C belongs to D such that A C is equal to A is equal to C A. Uh, since D is commutative, we shall show that this element C is the multiplicative identity of D. Let Y be any element of D. Then, from the above discussion, for some x belongs to D, we shall have A x is equal to Y is equal to x a now c y is equal to c a x uh, since a x is equal to y so c a x uh, which is equal to a x since c a is equal to a now which is equal to y here since a x is equal to y so it can be written as uh, equal to y c uh, since d is commutative thus c y is equal to y is equal to y c for all y belongs to d therefore c is the unit of a uh, unit element of the ring d and let us denote it by 1 unit element hai to usko humne denote kiya 1 se now 1 belongs to d then a a1 comma a a2 and so on comma a a n will be equal to 1 there exist b belongs to d so a b is equal to 1 is equal to b a here a belongs to d thus every non-zero element of d is d is irreversible hence f is the field so may ye proof karna tha